Brother, Brother Corbus is preaching. Strategies. Strategies is easy. But if you read the sentence, it's not so easy. Because it's a strategy. It's not just something that falls from the air. It's a strategy. It's a wile. It's an evil deceit. It's a cunning device. It's a demon. It's a devil. It's a thing that stands in your way. You've got to get it out. So put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to. <laughs> you in your house, aren't you sad that you're not here? But I'm glad that you could see it at least. But come join us next time. Thank you for joining us by TV. Bless you. I see that man bumps his wife. He says, that was for you. You told me to switch the thing on. Right. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against... See, if I would have preached this with all seriousness, we would have all been fighting by now. I mean, if I would have... And brother, our wrestling is not... If I would have... I mean, we would have now been up in arms. So get me a devil. Get, but now I'm bringing it... No. <laughs> Let's just get the way... In a way like we can do it. <laughs> We struggled at a time with these demon chasers. Why is that painting in your house hanging skew? I wonder if a demon fly through your house. No, the girl dust this morning. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickednesses in high places. Therefore, <laughs> so you're going to ask, wherefore? Because of the demons, devils, and foul, stinking spirits. Remember the gates of hell? This must be the gates of hell. <laughs> Oh, forgive me if I'm happy. But last night we spent two hours preaching on restore unto us the joy of thy salvation. Now God's trying his best to bring it back. And we're trying our best to fight him. Therefore, even if we can just leave the front air cons on just for me. Therefore, just the front one will do that. They can just be air blowing through the building, please. Therefore, put on God's complete armor. Whose armor? God's. Now we read in Isaiah 59, Jesus came, the Messiah, with this armor of God, and he defeated Satan on the cross, that you may be able to resist and stand. Now we know that James says uh, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So let's do a bit of basic electronics. If I have a circuit and there's a current flowing and I want not the same current coming out on the other side, I put in resistance. And we call that ohms. The higher the homage, the bigger the resistance. And if I want to, I can take it down to the ground. You know, that even less come out on the other side because I only need a trickle, but I can actually stop the current on this side. You see? So if current flows, that sign shows it's struggling to get through. That's why they draw a resistor like that. So when the enemy comes in, when the enemy comes in, first of all, resist. Stand against him. Say, I will not allow you to flow through me. My mouth 
must speak the oracles of God. I'm not going to let you flow your evil stuff through me. My ears are channels to hear his voice. I will not let you flow through me. My hands are there to lay on the sick. I will not let your evil demon stuff flow through me. How much currency of the evil one flows through your life daily? Or do you resist it? And then after you resist that flow, stand. Now what did Moses say? Stand. Now we can go to Jehoshaphat that said the same thing. Stand and see the salvation of the Lord. The Lord will fight for you. The battle is not yours, it's the Lord. Remember 2 Chronicles 20? Stand. Resist. Stand your ground on the evil day. Okay. Everybody say evil day. day. Okay. Did I take too long? Okay, I'll rush. I've got only half an hour left. There's an evil day. And on that evil day, you are supposed to stand. How much you stand? With the armor of God. Let's go. He says, so that they, after you've done all that the crisis demand, you must still stand. Amen. Firmly in your place. So he says, stand, stand again, stand again, stand again. Yeah. So he's trying to put an emphasis on standing. Amen. Not sitting, not sleeping, not walking or running. And having shod your feet in preparation where are we now I'm at 14 stand therefore hold your ground having tightened the belt of truth about your loins and having put on the breastplate of righteousness remember Isaiah having your feet I just want to put that one there your feet for the gospel shod for the preparation of the I just want to put that there because we're going to refer to it Stand there, evil day. That's enough to look at. And having your feet firmly footed, stability, promptness. Verse 16. Lift up over all the shield of faith. Upon which you can quench all the flaming missiles of the wicked one. So he says, the shield of faith will quench is that right now if you are thirsty what do you do with your thirst you quench it how with water so the psalmist said my soul thirst for you So the word quench says water is involved. How do you kill fire? What is the word? Same word as when you are thirsty. You quench fire with water. You quench your thirst with water. So the fiery missiles, the fiery darts of the enemy, they are fiery because it's a heat thing that is bringing against you. He's got an action against you and it's hot and it's fiery but you can put it out by putting up over everything the shield of faith I haven't got attention the shield of faith which will quench there's people that say I heard that you haven't so listen to quench the fiery darts and take the helmet of salvation and the sword that the Spirit will which is the Word of God. Pray at all times in the Spirit. So, so I must lift up the shield of faith and the shield of faith quench. Quench has got to do with water. Okay? Now just think of Moses, the Red Sea, the flood that put the enemy out. Think of Isaiah 59, the breath of God that Moses talked about, the floods that Moses talked about. Now the same is in Isaiah 59. The breath of God will come and drive the flood that will take the enemy out of the way. Now it says there's an evil day where you must also stand. And what you must do above everything that you want to do, take up the shield of faith which will quench. So water will be involved. He says, and how you do it at all times all 
times. Pray in the Spirit. Right? So, how do I pray in the Spirit? 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2 says to me the following. If I pray in other tongues, I pray in the Spirit. All right? My spirit prays when I pray in other tongues. Now, Jesus said something about the spirit. He says in John 7, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. On the last day of the great feast, Jesus stood up and cried with a loud voice. Sorry, I'm hurrying it for the people's sake. Cried with a loud voice. If any man is thirsty, you, you quench your thirst. If any man is thirsty, let him now come to me. And as... It is written, He that believes in me, rivers of living water shall flow from his innermost being or his belly. Verse 38, 39. This he said of the Spirit, which was not yet poured out, for Jesus was not yet glorified. So, Jesus says, if I am glorified, I'm going to send you the promise of the Father. When you get the promise of the Father, it'll flow, water will flow out of your innermost being. The Spirit will be water that'll flow out of your innermost being. The Spirit will be water that'll flow out of your innermost being. So when the Holy Spirit was poured out, the first thing that happened is they spoke. In other tongues, so with the voice of thy breath will the floods come. And you will drive the floods with the breath of your nostrils. It will cause a flood. And where will the enemy be? Okay. Now, Romans... 10 says in verse 15 how lovely are the feet of him that brings good news remember the story yes. Nahum 1 also says that also more or less that 15th verse how lovely are the feet of him that brings good news so it's repeated in the Bible repeated in each year again I just said when Jesus gave the promise of the Holy Spirit he said on the last day of the feast now if you know all the old sermons that I preach on this I explained the whole story. On the last day of the feast, the high priest took water and threw it over the altar when they brought the, the offerings. And he poured the water and it flowed down the valley. And as the water flowed down, they quoted scriptures. I will pour water on him that is thirsty. All the scriptures in Isaiah. Then I will come and pour out clean water. And as the water was poured out, Jesus came out of the crowds because in the beginning of John 7, his brothers and sisters said, are you going up to the feast? He said, no, I will come later. And he came in sneaky. They didn't see him. And when the water was poured out, he jumped on the altar and cried out, I am the one of who this prophetic manifestation is being done. They are still manifesting the prophecy, and here I am. The intervention of Messiah, the right hand of God, that came in as an intercessor to bring a flood to take away the enemy, jumps up and said, If any man believe on me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And this is said of the Spirit, that they will receive that believe on him, for he was not yet glorified. So take up the shield of faith and quench. So when the Holy Spirit was poured out on the day of Pentecost, they all spoke in other tongues. So Ephesians 6, 16 through 18 says, Take up the shield of faith, quench the fiery darts, at all times pray in the Spirit. How do I pray in the Spirit? In tongues. So what happens when I pray in the Spirit? A river is flowing. If I continue, it'll cause the breath of the Lord to be behind that water that'll make it a flood. And what will the flood do when the enemy comes in? Like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will take him out of the way. For it's not by power nor by might, but by my Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. So stand, and all you need to do is speak in the spirit and let the water flow quench the fiery darts and get the devil out of the way possess the gates of the enemy let's go to Nahum in closing Nahum when last did you read out of Nahum Habakkuk 
Zephaniah, Micah, Nahum. Do you know the scriptures, the books? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, the Norway, Judges, Samuel, Kings, Chronicles. Right? You know them? Ezra, Nehemiah, Ezra, Job, Psalms. No? No. Nahum. Look at chapter 1. It is as well, verse 15. Okay. Verse 15 says, Behold on the mountains the feet of him that brings good news. Look at me. We're closing. Five minutes we finished. Listen. He says, Put on your feet the preparation for the gospel of peace. And above all, the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the enemy. By praying at all times in the Spirit. So Romans chapter 10 says in verse 8, right through verse 17, he says, what shall we then say about, you know, faith? He says, the word is near you. In your mouth, in your heart, the word of faith, which we preach. You shall not say who shall go up to heaven or who shall go down to hell to bring Jesus down or up. But speak. For it is said, how lovely are the feet of him that brings good news. So Isaiah says, who believed our report? And to whom was the arm of the Lord revealed? So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. So again, he says, the feet of the preparation of the gospel has to do with speaking. He keeps on bringing us back to the mouth, the breath, the wind. Nahum 1, verse 7. I'm not going to repeat it. I'm just going to read it and close. The Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. What did Ephesians says in the evil day? You must know how to resist and stand. What did Moses say? The Lord is my strength. What did Ephesians say? Be strong in the Lord. Come on, let's see if the word makes sense here today. I don't know how God has helped me to preach like this. It just, just, just comes together, you know. The Lord is good. Thank you. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows them that trust in him. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Afflictions shall not rise up the second time. Amen. I'm finished. I'm done. Hallelujah. This must be the gates of hell. We're going to storm it and smash it up. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh. How many has heard this now for the 411th time? Mm -hmm. I just felt as I stood up just speak about the flood that needs to come out of your mouth that must be driven by the breath of God that will get rid of any enemy that stands in front of you that possess every gate of the enemy that will blast out of your way the gates of hell that's been standing against you go possess your promises it's not by might nor by power but by my spirit say the Lord of hosts so out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water so the more I speak in tongues the more the river flows the more the water is all around me the more the fiery darts of the enemy are quenched the more my thirst is quenched the more my faith rises Jesus, the more the enemy is defeated the more I live in victory how much do you speak in tongues what do you do with the precious gift that God has given you the Holy Ghost Paul says to Timothy stir up the gift that is within you now we want to preach that gift as you know apostles and prophets and you know healing gifts but Unfortunately, the word in 1 Timothy 4 as well as 2 Timothy 1 is the same word as in Acts chapter 2, 36, where he says, and this promise of the gift of the Holy Spirit 
is unto you and to your children and those those the same word it's not the gift of prophecy it's not the gift of miracles it's not the gift it's only the gift of the holy spirit and the word there is charisma which means that spiritual thing that comes upon you that makes you speak in tongues Amen. so paul says timothy you young you've been making advances in the kingdom very fast don't let people look down on your youth he said but Timothy you better stir up that gift so Timothy was standing on dangerous ground he said Timothy I know what your mama did I know what your grandmother did they were mighty women of God and I'm sure that this faith is also in you so take up your shield of faith by stirring up the gift of the Holy Spirit if I want to put it in context in 2 Timothy 1 7 fan the flames stir up rekindle the embers so as fire makes the water to boil Isaiah 64 so the spirit of the Lord so on my inside I get the fire of God the word is like fire shut up in my bones that fire causes the water to boil up and the boiling water becomes a fountain John 4 14 uh, Jesus said the, the water that I will give you will become a fountain a spring that will spring up on the inside of you and that spring will eventually become a river and that river if I allow it God will drive it and make it a flood and that flood will smash up the gates of the enemy and will take the enemy's forces out of your way and you will stand up a mighty conqueror and the enemy where will he be let's stand and shout hallelujah come on somebody help me get the board out of the way Woo, man stir up I would admonish you to stir up stir up the gift I'm so glad we prayed for the sick in the beginning because we only got 10 minutes left then we're off the air so God helped us tonight thank you for your steadfast patience there in your house I saw you were sitting there nailed and glued to the TV thanks for praying with us but tonight don't switch off we're going to pray for a fresh infilling of the Holy Ghost we're going to pray for a stirring of the spirit on the inside of us that the fire of God will cause the water to boil and we want everybody in your house don't be timid now don't be ashamed now don't be fearful now don't sit still although it's just you in your house go stand in front of your TV if your wife is with you and your children call them out of the kitchen say leave the coffee till five minutes say put that cake down Susie I said something like that the other day and I got an SMS. I said, you said, Jackie, God's healing your neck. He said, and I was just saying to my wife, yeah, I wish my neck would be healed and I called the man's name and everything. Said, you know, so Susie put down the, okay. okay. <laughs> now I just felt, isn't it funny in a group like this, we will still go for it. But we're now in our lounge and now the man of God says, pray in the spirit. Take your wife's hand and say, we're going to pray in the Spirit now. Amen. Call your children. Say, Sit, put the computer off. We're going to now receive a fresh infilling. Make the television the altar of your house. That's a breakthrough. And take hands in front of the television screen it can change from the gates of hell to the glory throne <laughs> depends on what you're viewing spirit word channel or uh, mm -hmm, mm. I'm serious when last did you speak in other tongues? I'm not talking about the same one over and over. The Bible calls it diverse kinds of tongues. I say, I say this at least four or five times a year in this church. 
I challenge people. I wonder how many has ever taken the challenge. By taking a tape recorder and every day you go pray and find out if you pray the same tongues. If you do, come for a fresh touch. You're drinking stale water. What about a fresh fountain? What about if you've been ribby shiki me kiki for the last 40 years? Why don't you change it? If you've been kabara shakala mahaya for the last 48 years, why don't you change it? Say, God, the 46th revival is now over. <laughs> when they had the karasabandara barashatala marabakaya. It all sounds the same. I'm not funny, I'm just stressing a point. Why don't we say, Lord, it's 2004. It's time for something fresh. Like Enbras Tel Vrandelia Chai El Brajostu Ramboria Kai El Vranaste Bradaduste Lichal El Moshkalaya Ren Belgadisto Rosteliandaya Elaria Jusklas Tere Brevindesto Rebramana Haliate. If you will open your heart and open your mouth, I will fill it and cause the pouring to come. And you will see that you will stand without even trying to stand, for a power will take hold of you that's never been there before and you will see the slaying of the enemies with your own eyes they will fall on the left they will fall on the right and you will raise your hands in praises unto me for it will be by my spirit says the Lord why not why not why not say out loud I believe Jesus Christ is Lord and by the blood of the Lamb of God, my sins are washed away. Thank you, Jesus, for your precious blood that totally cleanses me from sin and unrighteousness. Make me an open vessel through which the Spirit can bubble up like a fountain, then flow like a river, then be driven like a flood that'll possess the gates of the enemy that'll get out of the way all evil so that I can stand up more than a conqueror through Christ who loved me for the greater one indwells me so I want to receive today and you are agreeing there in your home so right in your house raise your hands Come stand and hear in this place. We're going to help you. Even if you're alone in a little flat, stand in front of your TV, raise your hands. Become part of this great audience. If it's just you and your wife or just you and your child, say, come son, come daughter. Right. I'm going to pray a prayer. We've got five minutes. So let's go. Father in heaven, I pray for all these wonderful people in the house and everybody watching by TV. I pray that the Holy Spirit will be poured out in a fashion like we've never seen before. I pray, Holy Ghost, rise up in the hearts and out of the belly of every person, man, woman, boy, girl. Let there come a bubbling. Let the fountain burst open and cause a river. Everybody say out loud, I receive a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit that will flow from my innermost being like a river causing a flood to be driven by the breath of God. Evil enemies will now get out of the way. I will be the conquering conqueror through the Spirit of the Lord. So here I go. Thank you, Jesus. I receive by faith. And now by faith, I speak. Here I go. Holy Spirit, take control in your house and in this house. Start speaking now. Say, Rendos Teleya Estubra. Come on, everybody. Speak in tongues. Lembra dos tuli irikandalea churomosha. Ri bados tel ibre. Let there be a flowing. Let there be a river. Come on, if you've never spoken in tongues, now is the time. 
Now is the time. While Peter spake, the Spirit fell on them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and started speaking in other tongues. Everybody watching my TV, don't be intimidated by religion. Open your mouth and speak the words. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, neither of the Holy Ghost. Keep on speaking, get the camera on me. Let's get the crowds. Let's get the crowds in. We're all praying in the spirit. Zoom it out, you can see everyone. Me in the center here. Right, you by your home. God bless you. Have a prosperous week. Be blessed in every way. May every demon get out of the way. May every devil get out of the way. May all sickness go. God says in Nahum 1, there will be no second onslaught. There will be no second attack. You are free by letting the flood possess the gates of them come on in your house stand with all these people and speak in the spirit come on go for it let the water flow let the gates of the enemy be smashed up and shattered let the demons be chased into the darkness let the light of god be your portion everybody let's go let's go Come on, we're going to go. We're going to pray in the Spirit. Keep on, get the people. Keep on praying in the Spirit. Let the water flow. Let the water flow. Let the flood rise. Let the enemies get out of the way. Lembre de shote para sete. Because I have never spoken in tongues. This is now the time. This is your opportunity. Rodo shete chile mangro shotelema, Robrodo shetene, Shanding le ding dombro to nombra shetle membra, Rekaladaya laboria ro shotelele, in the spirit, come on, Rabba jola baboria bastelele la mombro, sodombre, in the spirit, shekele mem, Rabba baboste se, right, we want to bless you, we want to say to every person that viewed, thank you for viewing. Stay tuned. They are beautiful programs. Remember our program. Get on our website. Send us some emails. Order those prayer cloths. Pray for us. Stand with us. We're going to see the hand of God in our nation. And the enemy is going to get out of this continent of Africa. All over Africa. Be blessed. Be successful. Be healed. Be prosperous. Have a great week. And be filled with the Spirit. And stir up this gift on the inside of you. Thanks for tuning. God bless you. Hallelujah.